We want you to take a look at this dump truck veering across the yellow line on a two-way paved road, as you see there. Another truck driver's dash cam captured that video. It happened in Fuquay, Verena. CBS North Carolina's Robert Richardson is live on Wilbon Road, where he talked to witnesses about the dump truck driver. Yeah, Sean, and they say it was a scary sight. They say dump trucks come through this area throughout the day, not at this moment. They say the drivers are usually safe, but as you're about to see, one driver put a lot of lives at risk both before and after this stop sign. And tonight, a couple of people I talked to are wondering why the driver was allowed back on the road. I had this feeling when you followed something that they were a lot of innocent people yesterday that were very lucky that they were not killed or seriously injured. Tony Spainhauer may have millions of miles behind the wheel, with 30 years as a state trooper and about 20 more as a truck driver. Spainhauer tells me he keeps his personal dash cam on in case a wreck happens, but it wasn't a wreck he recorded Wednesday morning. I don't know if I've ever seen a large truck drive that wreck. His route took him down Piney Grove Wilbon Road, and he noticed the dump truck in front of him, which you can see as it veers back and forth. He says he tried to get close enough to get a detailed description to report to 911, but he couldn't close the gap before the truck ran through this intersection and into a farm field. Spainauer blocked the driveway. My goal at that time was to make sure he did not get back on the highway. He checked on the driver, whom he described as incoherent. I asked him to set the brake on the truck. He didn't know how to do that. I asked him to turn the truck off. State troopers and ambulances responded, but witnesses say they didn't take the driver away. Staff at the nearby convenience store say they were surprised when he came in for a snack. The driver himself actually said to me he was surprised he was let go. They say he was disoriented and seemed to struggle to stand. I don't know how the cops let him go with the truck. This should not let him go. He should not be on the road again. If he'd hit that car, they'd, they'd been dead. That could have been my kids. We live half a mile out the road. Now they're hoping for some roadway improvements. They need to put the stoplight here as soon as possible. I can see every week at least one accident here. But Raman says a stoplight wouldn't have helped Wednesday. So was the driver having a medical issue? Was it impaired or distracted driving? Or was the driver just simply not paying any attention to the road? I'm still working to get those answers from state police. And an interesting side note, Tony was in his truck last year with his dash cam rolling when he was hit by a dangerous driver that sent his truck into a brick house, which was demolished. And you can see that video right now on WNCN.com. Reporting live in Fuquay, Verena, Robert Richardson, CBS, North Carolina. Oh my